Hey budget gardeners, Vita Loca here. Join me today as I show you how to overwinter your geraniums bare root. So let's go. In this video, I'll be talking about how to overwinter geraniums, specifically the annual variety for my area here in zone 5B. They might also be an annual in your area. There are perennial geraniums out there, and I'll pop up on the screen the perennial geraniums. Those are what we are not talking about today. The two types of geraniums that I'm talking about today are either zonal geraniums or regal geraniums, which are also known as Martha Washington geraniums. Luckily, I have both of those geraniums in my landscape. We have frost advisories going on in this area during this week. I do not want to lose my geraniums. So it is time for me to bring them in so that they are safe in a warmer place. Years ago, I used to start my geraniums from seed, and I actually was able to collect seeds from geraniums. It was a great process. It worked for me for many years. One of the drawbacks that I found with starting geraniums from seed was that you had to start the seeds very early. I would usually start them early December. Last winter was the first winter where I tried overwintering my geraniums bare root. What I really liked about that process was I didn't need to do anything with my geraniums except for check them during the winter months just to make sure they weren't drying out too much. Each month I checked them and if the roots seemed too dry, I just gave the roots a little spritz of water. Otherwise, I didn't do anything else to the geraniums until March. What I did during the month of March was I brought up my bare root geraniums from my basement, I chucked them over, I removed any rotted pieces, and then I planted those geraniums into potting mix. Very quickly, under my grow lights indoors, the geraniums just took off. And what was great was the geraniums were blooming well before it was time to bring them outside, which in my zone is during Memorial Day weekend. It's my feeling that when you start plants from bare root, like I did with the geraniums, each year the plant is going to get bigger and bigger. So when you start a plant from seed, the geraniums will be pretty small each year. But when you take them from a bare root and you plant them and you just keep doing this process year after year, I feel that the likelihood of getting a bigger plant each year increases. So today what I'm going to be using is I have some gloves that I'll wear. We're going to be digging up the geraniums together. And I have hand pruners and that is just to cut off any blossoms or any leaves that have gone by. I have a hand rake just to take off some of the soil from the roots on the geranium. A hand shovel just to dig up the geraniums. And then I'm using small paper bags. This is what I used last year to store my geraniums. You can also use large paper bags that you can find typically at a grocery store, or you can even use a cardboard box. So what we'll do together next is just dig up a couple of the geraniums that I have in my landscape. I have a total of about a dozen in my yard, but I figured we can do a couple of those together. Other than propagating geraniums from seed, there are other ways of propagating your geranium. You can take cuttings of them. I've tried that method before and it works. The only thing is when you're taking cuttings from a plant, then you have to keep them under grow lights or in a very sunny window and tend to them all winter long. And another thing you can do with your geraniums is you can take the whole entire potted plant and bring those indoors and treat the geraniums as a house plant. And if you don't want to bring in bugs, then you can take the geranium out of the pot clean off the roots, put fresh soil in, a new pot, and then bring the potted geranium in. But with the two methods of bringing a potted geranium in, I feel like it's just a house plant that you need to tend to and take care of, basically from my first frost all the way through Memorial Day weekend when there's no more chances of a frost in this area. I feel that's a long time to tend to that particular plant and since I have so many geraniums to take care of, it's my preference to overwinter the geranium spare root. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to dig this geranium out of the landscape. It's a good idea to get as much of the soil off the roots. Nice big plant. 
He has another geranium. Let's get that out of the ground. Again, we want to get as much of the soil off of the roots. Okay, that's another one out of the ground. So here are the geraniums that we just dug up together. What I'm going to do now is take you in for a closer look so I can explain to you what you want to do next with the geraniums. So the first thing we're going to tackle is we're just going to remove any blossoms, either ones that are gone by, like this one, or even beautiful blossoms that like this one here. If you wanted to, you could always take a vase and take the very pretty blossoms and bring them in. We have a bud here. We're also going to remove that. And you just want to follow the stalk all the way down to the base and cut there. The next thing that we want to do is we want to look over the plant and if there are leaves that don't look good or have gone by, we want to remove those. And the final thing that I'm looking for is I'm looking for any pieces that are rotted looking. Anything that's rotted on your plant, you want to remove. I am not seeing anything like that, but if I did, I would definitely be cutting that off right now. What will happen during the winter months with your geranium while it's dormant is all of these leaves will die back on their own naturally when they're ready to die back. And that is perfectly fine. But miraculously, the plant is still going to be alive. The plant might look dead to you, but trust me, I did this process before, and it's wonderful how the plant just survives without any dirt, without any sunlight. The key is you don't want the roots to dry out during the winter months. They, they have some moisture in them right now. You just don't want them to 100% dry out. So what I'll do now is I'm going to knock off any final dirt that I want to from the roots. I prefer not to wash off the roots. I don't want the plant to have too much moisture on it. I'd rather it naturally lose the dirt as the plant begins to dry. But as long as you get most of the dirt off of here, you should be fine. So this is the part where now you want to prepare it for storage. Again, if you want to put it in a large bag that you got from the grocery store, you could do that. Or you could put it inside of a cardboard box. The key is you just want good air circulation so that the plant can breathe. So I'm going to go ahead now and put this geranium in this small little bag. This plant has definitely grown since last year. And if I did have a larger bag, I might use it. But I think that it should be fine. You'll notice that I placed the plant upside down inside of the bag. And the reason is I want the roots exposed so that I can check them during the winter, once a month about. And if I notice that they seem extremely dry, I can just give them a little squirt of water. And these leaves, again, will start dying. And that's okay. That's what they're supposed to do. And what you might even notice during the cold winter months is you might notice new growth coming off of the plant. And you might wonder to yourself, how is the plant doing that? It's winter. We're not really giving the plant any dirt, much water, but that's just the normal reaction of what the geranium does when it's bare root. And then what I do next is I like to take a rubber band and I like to place it just beneath where the roots are. The reason I'm doing that is so that 
when I do spritz a little water on the plant if it needs it, I don't want a ton of water to go down to the main part of the plant. I don't want to cause any rot or anything like that. The key is I'm just trying to give a little bit of water, a little spritz of water to the roots. I will be repeating this process with the rest of the geraniums that I have in my yard. And I've never tried this process with my Martha Washington geranium, but I will be doing the same exact procedure. And I will let you know in the late winter how, I, how my geraniums are all doing. I'm gonna show you how to take them out of dormancy and how to basically wake them up again. And I will be taking all of these geraniums to my basement where the temperature is cool, but not cold. My garage is a little too cold for me to do this. I don't wanna put these in the garage because the garage can dip down to about mid thirties during the winter months. That's too cold for these geraniums. The geraniums optimally should be about 45 to 60 degree Fahrenheit. It's a big range, but somewhere in that range. So my basement is, a, is the best place for that. And there is an area in the basement where it's not only that cool, but it's also on the darker side. And that's a great place to put these geraniums so that they can rest for the winter months. So at the end of this video, I will pop up the link to the video that I made during the winter months when I took these geraniums out of dormancy, what they look like and what I did to wake them up to get them to start blooming again. So if you haven't seen that video, please be sure to check it out. How about you? Have you ever done this to your geraniums? Have you ever brought them in during the cold winter months? And what did you do? Did you bring it in as a potted plant? or did you do it as a bare root? I want to know your procedure and how it worked for you. So please drop a comment below just to let me know. Until the next video, make it a great day with gardening.